Good morning, guys. So the day has already begun. Uh, this is going to be the first video for Chicken Coop 2.0. <laughs> so just moving along with the projects. Um, I know I had mentioned this before, but our plan was to start building back on the property. And the first part of that is going to be getting the area cleared, getting a paddock set up, and then start building the, the new chicken coop. So, today's the first day of that. Um, Taylor's here already, he's already started working. Um, basically what he's going to be doing is um, kind of leveling the area right behind the shop here. I'm getting a few loads of gravel delivered, and he's gonna make kind of like a pad area where I can build the new chicken coop. And the new chicken coop is gonna be like a 12 by 12, um, fully fenced in with a smaller coop on the inside. So, yeah, I drew some plans, so I'll show those later. But anyway, thank you for watching, thanks for tuning in, and let's get to work. All right, so looking from the office window out the back of the property, you can see Taylor's already here working. Um, might be kind of hard to see, but there's a little pink flag there. So the pin for the property is right here, kind of in line with these poles a little bit past. Um, so also the shop here, this area is gonna get backfilled against the shop wall. So I'll go down there in a minute and I'll show you guys what I did down there. I basically added some waterproofing membrane. Um, so what Taylor's going to be doing today is he's going to be clearing this area, trying to level it out a little bit, going to be getting two or three loads of gravel, um, basically creating a pad. So the chicken coop will end up being like right here, probably within a foot or so of the fence line. Uh, I may even make it into part of the fence line and we'll see. Um, and then it's going to be away from the shop a little bit. And then down the road, this area, we're going to build some raised beds and have finally get started on a little bit of gardening. Um, but looking back, so this ohia right here, this dead ohia, that's kind of where the property line is, if, it, if you would imagine that way. Uh, so Taylor's going to, there's a big pile of trees here, the, the guava, strawberry guava that he took down last time he was here. So that's gonna get moved to the other side of the fence, and then he's gonna clear basically to the next pin, which is about 200 feet or so. Um, kind of right through where that ferns growing up the YVR. So that's the plan for today. And then get started on the layout for the, um, the base of the chicken coop. So I'm gonna be pouring a concrete curb, which is basically gonna be six inches tall, uh, four inches wide, and it's gonna be 12 by 12, you know, square essentially and then i'm going to build the house on top of that and it's going to be basically a 12 by 12 screened in house with like a four by four every four feet all the way around and then a roof and then inside there will be an elevated chicken coop that will be built but like i said i'll show you guys the little quick drawing that i did and i'm going to set up a time lapse camera up here to kind of catch you know what taylor's working on so yeah I'll be back with more. First load getting dumped. Kind of a tricky spot because this hill sort of juts up like real abruptly so you can't really drive up it fully yeah so taylor will just have to move it from here to there to there <laughs> all right so that's the first load down of course, I gotta keep an eye on the dogs because Fat Boy always likes to run off into the jungle and disappear for hours. So, once Taylor starts getting this cleared out, then I can swing the gate shut again. 
All right, so on the back side of the shop here, I just wanted to kind of show what I did here on the concrete. So as you can see, Taylor's already gotten uh, a lot of this rock spread out and he put some larger rocks over here to kind of help this area fill in. Uh, but I put in a moisture barrier. So this is like a 40 mil uh, moisture barrier. It's like a self-adhesive. They make this, it's kind of like an ice and water shield, I guess, just a different brand. So that is on all of the brickwork, all the way down to the slab. So it goes past the slab. So that once this gets backfilled, if there's any water that runs this way, it won't go into the shop. It'll go kind of that way behind the shop. And yes, I still haven't painted this side of the shop. So <laughs> don't look at that. So anyway, um, you can get, kind of get a better view of where the pin is over there. The flag that's on the ground there actually. <clears throat> so this area here will just be all leveled out. And then the rock that Jim delivered, he's working on uh, scooping up and then also trying to make a little bit better approach. So hopefully Jim can actually back up and then dump the next load here. So we'll see how it goes. All right, there's the second load. I'm back up in the office window again. One more. There, ultra wide. You can see a little bit better. Nice. All right, so I made it to town, and I picked up the two by sixes that I'm going to be using for the forms. So Taylor's gone. So I guess let's go check out what got done today Let's see if I can open this one-handed nope they're not coming all right so nice and leveled out I got to do a little bit of work over here with the rake and shovel just to level all that out because he couldn't get you know right against the wall so it's going off all the way that way this is all nice and leveled and then you can see he cleared out a bunch more of the yv and then he also cleared my fence line right here so the next step for the fence is i'm going to put a t-post back where the pin is back there somewhere i don't know it's somewhere back there I'm gonna do a T-post and then I'm basically gonna run a string from the T-post up to this post because this post is just inside where the pin is, but close enough. I mean, that's like less than a foot. And then that'll give me my string line where I can start drilling holes for T-posts and for bigger posts if I need to. Um, but this is all leveled out. Pretty nice, can actually drive up here now. So. The last load Jim was able to actually back all the way up in here, actually the last two loads, or the second, third load, whatever, <laughs> was able to dump right here. Um, some miscellaneous scrap. So, pretty much from where that post is, probably come over about a foot, maybe two feet, and then it'll go 12 feet this way, and then 12 feet out, 12 feet. So. Uh, I'm going to use the 2x6s that I just picked up and build the forms. So it'll basically be a 4 inch wide curb and then 6 inches tall and then 12x12x12. 12 by 12 by 12. And then that is going to be what I will, will be the base to build the chicken coop on. So that's it. Um, I'll be back when I start doing the next step. All right, so just to give a quick overview of kind of what I'm building here, um, I'm going to be pointing the curb, and then this is going to kind of be the 4x4 four four layout. So there's going to be a 4x4 four four on each corner, and then every 4 feet. So it'll be 12 by 12 by 12 by 12. 
and then this is kind of what the house will look like. Um, this is all going to be screen in here, and then the roof over top, of course. And then within this chicken house, there will be a coop, which is going to be roughly four by eight on the back corner. So it'll be in this back corner here. And it'll basically go the width of one of these, you know, sections that way. And then basically two sections this way. So it'll be in the back corner suspended. Um, I don't think it'll have any legs at all underneath it. And then there will just be a, a ladder or a plank for them to go up to get inside. And then there will be roosting poles and stuff in there. And then also the nesting boxes, which will be on the back side. So on this side of the house, essentially, if you were to look here, there will be basically two nesting boxes. That'll be the length of the inside house. And then there's going to be a door there, which will be essentially right here. There will be a door. And then I may or may not have a door on the front side too. And then the chicken, there will be an automatic chicken door um, here in the front. So this will be part of the new fence line. The back of this building will be within the fence line of the paddock. And then the fence will come up on this side. So essentially my shop is going to be, you know, like right here behind, you know, or the chicken coop will be behind the shop. But that's basically what I'm looking at building. All right, so I got to kind of have the corners marked out roughly. Um, it's essentially about 17 feet from the shop and about four feet over from the pin. I basically kind of put it in line with the back of the shop. Um, I may end up moving this another two feet this way though, just because the corner here is going to be kind of tight. It's only about 12 and a half feet or so, maybe 13 tops between here and this, this lava mound, um, which down the road, maybe I'll get that moved. I don't know if I'll be able to move it or not. Um, so just so it's not too tight, because I do want to be able to have, you know, trucks or whatever get through here if I'm getting gravel or anything delivered to the back. So. Uh, I'm going to start putting this together, and then uh, this side obviously is a little higher, so I'm going to have to try and level it out. I'll probably take some of the gravel from here and move it over to here, because this is just going to be a border, essentially. And then inside will just be mulch and, you know, whatever is going to be in the bottom of the chicken coop. All right, so there's my uh, the next pen, pin, which is about 200, I think it's 200 or 220 feet. And I put a string line so you can see down to the post by the shop there. <clears throat> so looking at this, my shop is um, not parallel to the... <laughs> yeah, so it's not parallel at all to the property line. So this back corner is close, but the other corner is a ways still. So... Yeah, I was squaring it up to the hillside and not to the property line because I didn't know where the property line was at that time. Okay, let me get back up there and finish building the form. So nothing is ever easy, right? <laughs> so once I got this kind of in place and I was checking the level, the side over here was probably almost 10 inches higher than our 10 inches lower than the side over here. So this is gonna be a lot of work, moving rocks around and whatnot. So yeah, I'll just be back when it's time to pour concrete. Okay, man, that was a lot of work. So that is my form for the base of the uh, new chicken house. Um, so I ended up having to dig this side down quite a bit more. It's still not completely level. This side is still a little bit low, but that's as far as I'm gonna do it because I started hitting like solid lava over here where I couldn't dig down more. And then just moving all of this gravel over here to raise this side up. And then you can see I put some bigger rocks on the backside there. Um, 
So basically now it's at the point where it's ready to fill with concrete. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or not because it looks like it's going to rain, but we'll see. Alrighty, so that was 20 80 pound bags of quick creep. Um, this thing isn't totally like, like these sides, the sides are more closer to four inches wide. And then the front and back is closer to five, maybe probably even over five it looks like. So when I was calculating, I calculated, you know, four inches wide, six inches deep, 12 feet long. And that was like three and a half bags. So I guesstimated four bags per 12 foot section. <clears throat> and I ended up needing uh, an additional four. So, which is cool. I had it. So at least I didn't run out. I always tend to underestimate the amount of concrete something's going to take. <laughs> but as you can see, it's done. Um, so right now I'm just in the process of kind of cleaning it up a little. I'm not super concerned with this being smooth and flat and all that. The main purpose of this whole border is to keep um, animals like mongoose and rats from burrowing into, you know, getting into the coop. Um, so I'm, you know, going a little bit more uh, protective on this coop than I did on my first coop that I built. Um, and even that coop there, rats ended up chewing on the automatic door on the other side. On the bottom of the door was just wood, so they ended up chewing the wood and then getting into the coop. And it wasn't to go after the chickens, it was because I used to put feed in there when I first got my birds. So the rats would get in there and they would go after the food. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have all my corner pieces in. Um, where these uh, little plates are, that's basically a piece of threshold that I had left over and I cut it up into eight pieces. And then those are J hooks. So there will be a, a four by four bracket that gets bolted there as well. And then basically everywhere where there's an anchor, there's gonna be a four by four going up. You saw the picture earlier in the video. Um, so this is basically gonna be a four by four um, structure all the way around and then there will be four by four cross beams topping everything and then from there I'll put on my uh, roof joists and do all that <clears throat> so this video here I think I'm probably going to pretty close to wrapping it up I may put in the four corner posts and show that um, but that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow obviously so this concrete can set up get all the forms peeled off uh, get those four corners put up and then uh, basically what I'm going to do is put the four corners up. I'm going to put a laser in the middle and then I'm going to get my height for all four corners and then, you know, get them marked and then get, get them cut and then I'll put on my top pieces and then I will just go back and I will pop in the four by fours on each of these locations and I'll get a measurement, you know, from the cross piece down to the mount and then that essentially is going to be the house and then it's going to be fully, you know, screened in. So, or fenced in, I have this nice galvanized fencing, which is a small, uh, half inch by one inch hole. So, and it's 14 gauge. So it's pretty heavy duty. It's actually the same stuff we're going to use when we build the uh, parrot aviary. Anyway, enough talking. All right. So I have the corner post, uh, corner four by fours prepped. Uh, basically, I'm just painting the bottoms right now because that's the part that's going to go into the bracket. And then uh, let's go out and take a look at the forms, which I already stripped the forms. So you can see how it looks now. get the gate open. <laughs> Alright, 
So all the forms are stripped, all right there. And uh, this is what we're looking at. So you can see it's still curing. Um, this quick create, when it gets like fully cured, it turns uh, almost white, whitish color. Kind of like the apron on the shop. Um, so you can see these parts are kind of drying out more here. So it's good enough that I can start building. Um, yeah. So I'm going to actually be heading to Home Depot today to get the rest of the wood that I'm going to need to do this. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and uh just want to say happy new year to everyone um yeah because by the time this comes out i think it's going to be like january 12th or 13th 14th i don't know what day friday is <laughs> uh but anyway happy new year everyone um hope everyone had good holidays and got to visit family or got to do whatever it is that you do during that time of year. And uh, I will be continuing on with this chicken coop 2.0 and get this thing built because I need to go pick up some new animals. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video. Aloha.